Today at the Singapore Air Show, we are at the Indonesian Pavilion and we are pleased to meet Ms. Igan, Head of Marketing, Communication and Business Development. Ms. Igan, pleased to meet you. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for having us here today. Thank you. Uh, could you just share with us uh, what's the story for you in Singapore Air Show and tell us what you have here for us? Yes, uh, okay. Well, again, thank you very much for visiting our boat. This is representing our company and our product. In front of you is our uh, CN235 and especially for this model this is the the MPA or maritime patrol aircraft the type uh, the type of CN235 that currently we are also um, have more of the requests of this type of the aircraft right and this type of aircraft could you just give us an idea a figure uh, mm -hmm. how many are there in operation in in the region or yeah, this type of aircraft, uh, this is, this is uh, it's around 60 aircraft already uh, delivered in this type of aircraft. So we have to uh, maintain our uh, capability in this type of aircraft because of uh, it is advantage of uh, the size of aircraft and then, and then the mission system that can be integrated to this type of aircraft. Yes, beside the maritime uh, petrol type of the CN235, we also have uh, another version which is for the uh, transport uh, not just uh, it's also for the parachuting uh, drop version sure. okay and we have also the the NC212 right. uh, aircraft right. and this is this is also currently we are we are manufacturing nine of them for our Air Force for the scale. yes mm -hmm. and uh, before it was uh, mostly used by our Navy so it's already been operation for the already Navy and then now the Air Force is having yes. that. And is and this uh, anything going out of Indonesia? The of men? course, yes. We, we have sold this aircraft to the Philippines right, right, okay. and also to Thailand. Right, okay. okay. And do you do any MRO services for this? Yes, we have four line of businesses. Mm. Number one is we sell the aircraft and the helicopters. Mm. And then the second one is the aircraft services, which is the MRO. Okay. So we, tr we try to uh, serve our customer, not just uh, delivering the aircraft, but also making sure that the aircraft is well maintained mm -hmm. and then uh, always in good operation right. from our uh, MRO uh, division. The fact that it's based in Indonesia itself, the mm -hmm. service and turnaround will be very quick because you don't have to wait for, for any service and support and maintenance. Yes, for our Indonesian uh, customer and, and, and in the region, yes. of course, but also we, we try to maintain also even the customer that in, in Africa and we recently also deliver this aircraft to Nepal. Wow, okay. So you've got ongoing business out of Indonesia as well. And do you use any of it for maritime rescue missions or any yes. search and rescue? Yes, uh, both the, the NC212I and also the CN235 so yeah. also uh, has a function as the search and rescue for search and rescue mission right. for medical evacuation. Right. You know, especially the country is um, we are we have a, well quite frequent natu natural sure, disaster. Sure, disasters, yeah. Yes. So you have to be yeah. Yeah, we have to be ready, and then uh, and then thank for the our search and rescue department. They they use our aircraft also right. for that uh, mission. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is our new the M219. We have a bigger model over there. Okay, so uh, I mentioned about four line of business, and and there is also technology and development uh, uh, area that we also have in our company. Uh, we built new aircraft also, which is the N219, and this is a uh, this is a, a commercial type of aircraft for ni for 19 passengers, and uh, we our target is for the. Indonesian um, Indonesian customer which is the government of Indonesia because you know we are archipelago and we have to improve our connectivity sure. so uh, PT Digantara Indonesia building this aircraft uh, to to help realizing that more of the islands can be connected and this is already in operation or this aircraft is uh, under certification process at the moment right. and hopefully at the middle of this year we get the certification from Indonesian authority right. yes we try to uh, we, we also get uh, a request already from uh, from uh, over
overseas, mm. for example from uh, Africa and mm. then uh, from Middle East, mm. also from South America. Right. So we try to build also a collaboration or connection right. in terms of a bilateral agreement for the certification. Right. But mainly we have to prove that this aircraft is uh, well operated in Indonesia right. after the certification of course. So I can say this would be made by Indonesians for Indonesians. Made by Indonesian for Indonesian and then for the other countries oh, that um, uh, of course that they have the, the, the requirement, the similar requirement, right. for example, because this is for the uh, remote area, so yeah. any, any uh, customer would like to use this aircraft for the unprepared uh, uh, runway, for example, and then for the distance of the, of the flight, that will be beneficial. Right, okay, okay, sure. Anything uh, more that you wanted to share with us? Apart yeah, we, uh, beside uh, aircraft, we have also uh, technology, other uh, technology development uh, in the area of uh, UAV that is currently we are we are developing also. Right. And but our focus at the moment is, uh, of course, coming to this air show sure, is yeah. to uh, to uh, to again to to tell our customers that that we are we are still. Uh, developing more of the of the product, mm -hmm. and then and then I'm glad that the that some of the customers uh, will soon place uh, more orders to us. Sure, so it's a very good position place to pro propagate what you're doing in terms of the Indonesian market as well as for global market. Yes, exactly. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Iziga. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.